we started uh, by uh, 2001, 2002 as um, cover band and uh, also like let's say one of the first uh, metal national bands in Tunisia. By then uh, the band Ecstasy, which is Mirath now, they um, uh, covered like Malmsteen, uh, a lot of gender, musical gender, uh, from blues, from death metal. They they covered bands like Death, um, uh, Eric Clapton, uh, maybe Malmsteen has said, and a lot of Symphony X. We uh, played in a festival called the Mediterranean Festival of Guitar and uh, we were uh, opening for uh, Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin and in the bands they were invited uh, there were a band, French band called Adagio. Kevin Cotferd was uh, the keyboard player of Adagio and he was already um, one of the masterminds of Adagio. He saw the band Mirath at the time. He fell in love with the music and uh, we spoke together and he said, guys, okay, let's, uh, let's be um, together in this journey and um, we will help each other to develop uh, the band. It's hard to play metal in Tunisia or in North Africa because um, it's not because of religion. Some of, some of them, some of the extremists in the region are against music even, no, not even you know, metal. But uh, we can handle that because we don't give a shit about them. Uh, we do our best to, to deliver our message, which is a message of hope and peace. So look at us, like Mirath, like a small band, beginning from zero and uh, now where we are, you know. We are not Metallica, but in a certain way we, we reach a very good level comparing to the uh, starting level. I think I would describe now our unique genre is like uh, uh, blazing desert metal. This is what I would call it. Even if you uh, listen to the songs or to the genre, and especially the, the, um, the next album, you, you would be certain 100% that uh, it's something unique. It's not oriental metal. It's not only oriental metal. It's not only power metal. It's not only symphonic metal. It's something unique, something fresh. The, the story was how to translate uh, our messages in a way that you can um, give, give, give an imagination, give another image to the people rather to do like something like to shoot a video in a war zone or something or to describe something real. So we wanted to um, animate, let's say, our vision and um, our messages are very clear, it's, a, it's about hope, it's about uh, uh, believing in ourselves. I'm not inventing things, but I would, I would say that Mirath is a producer of emotions. This is the most, this is the key for our music. It's, it's like... Uh, uh, we say Arabian Nights, you know, tales, and uh, in Tunisia we say uh, 1001 uh, nights, we call it. Uh, yeah, it's a sort of tale. Um, we are uh, like, as I am a tale, uh, you know, uh, teller, uh, and um, we are just uh, telling the story about, about uh, uh, the good and the bad bad people, good people, and uh, about, uh, you know, delivering this kind of 
of hope and uh, as I said, believe in ourselves and uh, uh, trying to um, discover a side in uh, uh, Miraf members also. It's very personal, it's not only telling story. For me, Sultan Omar, it, it represents obstacles. We've had a lot of obstacles before reaching this point in the fifth album. Nothing. <laughs> no. Actually, we will do. Uh, we will expect more than a metal show. Uh, it will be. Um, there will be magic tricks on the stage, maybe disappearing things. For me, more important than the magic and more, the show and the fireworks, I think it's the spontaneous, the spontaneousness. For me, this is the most. You can play in, in, in a, in a, on a stage without fireworks, without light, without nothing. But if you are true with what you do and what you deliver, if you sing like you are, you know, talking to those people, you know, talking uh, true, true stuff to his people. And that's what I do. That's what we do. That's what we deliver, you know, emotions and we are true to ourselves and to our uh, public. Even the public that doesn't know us, he will discover that we are very spontaneous and that's what would make us maybe unique. <laughs>